Hello there. Welcome back to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. And today I'm using 345 Rendezvous. It's not the first time I've used this. Um, just actually a week ago, I think. Uh, it's a dupe of uh, Versace Pour Home, I believe. Versace something. It's a really nice cologne scent. Um, I really liked it. My wife, more importantly, really liked it. So I got the soap in a mystery box from IMCDB, or I purchased from IMCDB. Uh, and my wife liked it so much, I went out and got the, the matching aftershave and the EDP. And then um, I've heard about the generosity of John from 345. He gave me you know, a little note in there, which is pretty cool. Um, but he also included the solid clone um, free. He just threw it in the box with everything else, which I thought was pretty awesome. Um, I've heard great things about um, John from 345 and 345 in general. Um, I've always have used this soap before, like I said. And I really liked it. I really like the scent. I got a Mozingo Brushworks. It's an ebonite, kind of a marble, black marble kind of look with a 30 millimeter tip knot. And obviously you can see the brush is completely saturated with leather. I set this knot myself. Initially I set it kind of deep and then it didn't splay much and it kept the lather really trapped inside the brush. So then I pulled it I set my stuff with uh, silicone, so it's not a permanent adhesive. So I pulled the knot and then reset it uh, a little higher, so that it had more splay. Um, obviously, it like really <laughs> splays out, and it would release that leather, and it really worked. The other side of that is this brush is massive. It feels great though, like no scritch whatsoever. It's got just enough backbone. It's really soft and it splays really well, but it has just enough backbone. It's still, you can like scrub it if you wanted to face lather. The tip knots by Turn and Shave are really nice. This is huge. I mean, this lather is ridiculous. I saw like so much in the bowl. Had a nice haircut yesterday, tried a new barber. Not had really good luck with barbers around here. I might get a good shave and I go back and then the person that cut my hair isn't there anymore. I had one girl at a barber shop. What a haircut place was in a barber shop. Did a really good job, uh, but then she moved. And every time I went back to that place and tried somebody else, it just messed up my head. So I tried a new place today or yesterday with my son. He wanted a haircut as well. And it went really well. I'm really happy with this haircut. The fade has done really well. Really nice cut. I think it looks really sharp. And then I had my beard kind of shaped up. It's all covered in foam right now, but I had it shaped up so it comes to a more kind of a point, natural shape of the face, kind of angling down, more of a traditional Van Dyke. I think it looks pretty slick. Trying the Blackbird today. I have a second use uh, Schick double edged blade. Those are the new ones that just came out, uh, made out of Germany. Although I'm looking at it now, and it's got the, the German flag here in the corner. It says made in Germany. Then it also has a listing for South Africa uh, on the back here. So maybe the Schick company that's making these, or the Schick branch, is a, a base in South Africa. It says right here. Anyways, uh, I used it for the first time yesterday with the Rex, with the Ambassador, and it was pretty awesome. I don't know how this will go with the Blackbird. I've had a lot of issues with the Blackbird. I have not quite figured out the best way to shave. I know a lot of people really think highly of it. It has a lot of blade feel for me, but we're gonna try a more steeple, steeper angle today. It does have a lot of blade feel. Even with that steeper angle, I like really feel it. I think a lot of people like it because it's very efficient. Um, I have gotten a really good shave with it. Well, I have gotten a good shave with it in the past, like a close shave. I did have irritation though. I feel like I have to go really slow. I feel like I'm constantly going to hurt myself. I think the the way that the guard comes down to a very, almost an edge. I don't like the feel of that. And the points on the corner, like I can feel that guard 
and I don't really like the way that the guard feels. I'm feeling the guard in addition to feeling the blade, and I think that throws me off. But if I do a more, I'll try riding the cap. I feel if I ride the cap more, then I'm feeling more blade. I haven't figured out Either I feel blade or I feel the guard. Still definitely a very blade forward. I feel like I have more blade exposure or more blade feel than the, the Rex in any case. Well, I guess I can't keep saying the Rex, right? Because I got the console. So the Ambassador. Got more blade feel than the Ambassador. In my opinion. But that wasn't a horrible first pass. It went better than I thought it would. I kind of had expectations that I would hate it and would just give up and pick another razor. His hand, I just don't know what to do with. It's just sitting there. On there, I Saturday Night Live skit. I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hands. Or no, maybe it was Ron Burgundy. I don't know what to do with my hands. This brush is a monster. It really built up that rather. The soap being an amazing performer doesn't hurt. I'm saying that's sarcastic, but the soap is awesome. I feel... I don't know. I still don't know about this razor. Is there ever that where you get a razor and you want to love it so much? But it's just not there. I haven't given up on this yet. So like the angle, maybe there's a good angle in there that kind of balances the blade feel and the edge feel, but it's so small. I feel like anytime I make a slight adjustment, then I'm either feeling more of that blade or I start to feel more of that guard edge and I don't like that either. I love the design of the razor. I mean, it looks gorgeous. This is just a machine. I did a light polish on this myself. Um, just a light polish. I'm not super proficient with that like Baez is, but it came out pretty well. But I like the look of it. I really like the handle design. Just... I'm 
the blade is smooth. It's just like the angle, like the blade geometry this razor has. I feel like I'm going two or three times slower than I normally do. That scent from the soap really blooms with the heat on your face. Really nice, awesome cologne scent. This brush is so soft, you could like face slather on the third pass and not even worry about brush burn. Against the grain. Here's where we see I feel like I get like blade chatter. You can kind of see the blade edge is held back all the way in the middle of the razor. I mean it's obviously held by the top cap, but it's not clamped towards the edge like some designs are. There's not a lot of blade exposure, but man, I feel like it shouldn't flex. The top cap should keep it from flexing. Okay. But I feel on my face like it, like seeing like it skips. Are we getting blade chatter in for? And I don't get that when I use a razor that has a better clamping on the blade edge. It is very efficient. I can't take that from it at all. And this is only on one day's growth too. I would be really hesitant just because of the blade feel or the blade kind of chatter that I'm getting to use it on multiple days growth. I feel like it would just start pulling hairs I know plenty of other people use these without problems. It might just be me. I know Fidez really likes his blackbirds. I know Adam got to borrow one once and still talks about it. He really liked it. But Adam also likes the R41. I tried the R41 once or twice a long time ago. Didn't have a very positive experience. It wasn't like super negative. It wasn't like bleeding or anything everywhere. But I just felt like it had an excessive amount of blade feel. And I didn't feel like it was, I didn't feel like all that blade feel was really worth it. Like I wasn't, I didn't feel like the shade was any more efficient than a lot of other razors. I was dealing with all that blade fill for no real benefit. I might have kept it longer, but then the guy that I 
bought it from message me back and uh said he was interested in buying it back if i wanted to he regretted selling it it was just the head i didn't come with the handle so then i said sure threw it back in the mail for him There's so much blade feel. Not very smooth. Maybe it's the blade pairing. I had a good shade with it yesterday. It is a second use. Felt smooth on the, the other two passes, but I feel like it's just the I think it's the blackbird, but a few touch-ups. I'm kind of afraid to do any though. All right, I think that's it for touch-ups. Third and final pass with touch-ups done with the Blackbird. I'm gonna do a cold water rinse and then we'll come back and I'll talk about my final feelings on the razor. All right, thanks for sticking with me, I'm back. Um, sorry, I got interrupted by my, my two little girls came in to say goodnight as they were going down for a nap. And it got me a little distracted. So, post shave, 345 Rendezvous matching splash. I have not used their splash before yet. Smells really good. It is alcohol based. Um, also has witch hazel, water, hydrovance, rose, hydrosol, jojoba oil, almond oil, apricot oil, soap proteins, aloe vera, vitamin E, and polysorbate. Which is just a preservative if I'm not mistaken. I think it has the same restrictor valve as the Ariana Nevins. It definitely works at restricting. I got a couple little weavers there. Feel the alcohol. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, though. As far as the alcohol brand goes. So, the Blackbird. The shave is undeniably close. It's very close. I have a little bit left right here. But it's really close. It has a very smooth shave. It's just so... For me, it's very uncomfortable to use. 
I can't, I've tried a lot of times. It's actually the third Blackbird I bought. I had one back in the day, a machine one with a long handle and I traded to Fayez, that's how we first met, for a Timeless. And then I ended up getting another one on the Buy Trade page. Cause I was like, maybe, you know, I was pretty new into white shaving and I just, you know, needed to work on my technique. So I got another one, <laughs> had the same kind of feelings about it, traded it for a, a carbon. And then got another one. I think I traded for this one that I have now. I traded for it. Somebody else had one and I had a razor. I was kind of looking to move. So I was like, well, we'll try the Blackbird again. We'll give it another a third go. And I still feel the same way. It is a really close shave. You can't deny the geometry works. It's very close. My skin feels very smooth, but it's just so uncomfortable to use. I just don't think I'm going to keep it. Like I just don't. And I'm not sure why people like it so much. I can get such a close shave from the Rex Ambassador with a lot less blade fill. Or the Yates H-Plate, which also gives an amazingly smooth shave, but much less blade fill. And I just can't... I think if the guard... And I've seen other people write this, and I don't know if the... You know, people at Blackland kind of take that. Obviously, I don't think they've done any changes to the black person since it came out. Or if they have, I, I didn't wasn't able to find anything about that in the forums, but... Man, I feel like if they rounded this edge so it wasn't such a hard edge on your face, like it just like, it's very kind of aggressive, like, and you feel that. So it makes it really hard, I think, to find the right angle. And those corners are like really sharp. I feel like, I mean, I get what they're going for aesthetically, but I feel like they could just round those edges just a bit and make that guard a lot more comfortable to feel on your face. I mean, it's the only razor that I've ever used that had a guard that felt uncomfortable. Even open comb razors have blunted ends so that the guard runs smoothly across your face. But this guard is so sharp, the way it's machined, it really, it's just really uncomfortable. I'm not digging it. Maybe I'll try it again. Maybe I won't. I really like that splash from 345. It smells great. Um, we'll see about the Blackbird. Maybe I'll move it along. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. The 345 uh, is definitely stellar soap at a killer price. If you haven't looked up their stuff yet, definitely recommend checking out their stuff because you're getting big tubs here. 5.8 ounces, almost 6 ounces of soap in their tubs. And a really nice price. I think it was 16 bucks a tub, 17 bucks, right in there. 15, 16, 17. Less than 20, sub 20. Uh, and their other products are really great. I like that their solid cologne comes in a uh, kind of like a chapstick dispenser. You just, you know, spin it up, spin it down, and you just rub it on your wherever. It's great. I, I don't like the ones that are kind of like a wax where you got to dig it out with your nail and then apply it. I kind of like just having like a little roller. I think that's an awesome design. I don't know if anyone else does that or not, but awesome. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I certainly appreciate that and hope to see you again next time.